don't try and race through life. You don't have to meet your ultimate goal right out of the gate. Try and experience things and do things that are worthwhile. You know, you're never going to be happy unless you do something that you feel is worthwhile or something that really brings a sense of fulfillment to your life. You know, each experience has value. And so take those pieces away from all of those experiences. They're going to make you a better person. They're going to make you better equipped for that next job because you don't know what's going to come at you. But if you can pull away like all of the jewels out of those experiences, those will make you who you are. You have to treat everybody with respect. You know, the breadbasket is, is our emblem, right? And there's a reason for that. And so I try and tell people, what's our breadbasket for today? It's more than just taking care of, you know, the clinical side, the sick and injured, it's taking care of the whole of the person. There's been different influences in my life that have led me down the path that I've done. Being able to advocate for those that are disadvantaged, it is a privilege. You just have to recognize that there are issues that we all need to be advocating for. And because your voice, I think, carries some weight, that it's not, you know, just another clanging symbol. It's, we've thought about this, and these things are important. We're deliberate about this. This isn't something that's accidental. This is deliberate about what our mission is, to take care of the more vulnerable. At the end of the day, I believe that we are here to do good. I believe that we should lead with kindness. I believe that we're here to make things better for folks around us, for the next generation, and to help people as much as you can.